Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Jordan, rheumatologist at BJC Health in Sydney, Australia. Today I want to talk to you about how I use allopurinol. Allopurinol is a medication uh, used in gout, which is used to drop your uric acid level. This is the most important thing for your long-term management of your gout. I've talked in another video about when I would use it. Today I want to talk about how I use it. Allopurinol uh, works in the body by dropping your uric acid level. And if we get it below a certain level, you won't get gout attacks in the long term. Allopurinol can be used by almost everyone, um, although there are some situations where you might not, and that's if you have an allergy to allopurinol. We typically would start at a low dose, and this varies between rheumatologists and doctors, so you'd be best talk to them but you would want to start at a low dose, and I typically start at 100 milligrams a day, increase to 200, then 300, and then I'll assess what the uric acid level is. If the uric acid level has not reached target, then I will continue increasing until we've reached target. The maximum dose of allopurinol is 900 milligrams. Uh, a lot of people stop at 300, but there's absolutely no reason to stop at that. Allopurinol uh, has a couple of situations that you need to be aware of. Firstly, uh, a number of people, very small number, can be allergic to it. Uh, this usually occurs in the first couple of months, uh, and if you get a rash or fever, you should stop your medication immediately and contact your doctor. If you don't get a reaction to it, uh, the long-term side effect profile is actually really good. Uh, occasionally you get stomach upset, but um, usually there's really not too many issues. When you start the allopurinol, and typically I do it for at least three months, you need some other medication to stop you from getting gout flares. So when you drop your uric acid level with allopurinol, you can actually bring on a gout attack, which is clearly not what you want. I use colchicine in this situation, and Depending on your kidney function, it might be one tablet a day or two tablets a day, but I usually will keep that there for a few months to uh, reduce the chance of you having an attack while we get the allopurinol dose correct. I know when you're on the right dose of allopurinol because you're below the target of 0.36 millimoles or 6 milligrams per deciliter as it is in the United States. When you're at that target, that's the dose you need to continue, and that's the dose you need to continue for the rest of your life. If you stop allopurinol uh, after that, your uric acid will just go back up, and you'll get gout, um, sometimes quickly, sometimes it'll, it'll take a while. The other most important thing you need to know about allopurinol is that if you get a gout attack while you're on it, you do not stop it. You treat the gout attack uh, with medications that we've talked about in other videos, and you continue the allopurinol at your same dose. Stopping and starting allopurinol is especially unhelpful and it often will lead to more problems down the track. I hope that gives you some idea about how I use uh, this important medication for gout. This is a topic that's really important to discuss with your treating doctor, so I encourage you to do that. But feel free to drop a comment uh, and I'll try to uh, answer it if possible.